news happening now. The rebels are attacking one of our forts in northern Tennessee, off the banks of the Mississippi River. We have two field reporters there. One is Jebediah Springfield, a Confederate plantation owner. The other is Biggie Smalls, a Union abolitionist. We're attacking the northern scum right now. An interview with the commander is coming up soon. While we're waiting, let's have a check of the weather in northern Tennessee. Oh, wait. Uh, looks like our weatherman quit. Oh, well, I'll just be telling you the weather. Um, let's see. It looks like it'll be raining blood in Tennessee, but mostly sunny with a 30% chance of rain. Be sure to take your raincoat with you if you plan on killing some soldiers. Alright, now back to Jebediah Springfield to give us an interview with General Nathan Forrest, commander of the rebel forces in this battle. Hey Tom, we have here General Nathan Forrest, who's coming back from a Confederate attack on the Battle of Paducah around two weeks ago. The General is now attempting to retake Fort Pillow. General, do you have any words? Hello, General, and thanks for having me. Our strategy is quite simple. We're just going to overwhelm them with our numbers. We'll force them to surrender unconditionally or suffer the consequences. So what exactly do you do if they don't plan to surrender? Well, my plan is to kill them all! Yeah! Back to you, Tom. Alright, now let's turn to our Union field reporter, Mr. Biggie Smalls. I have Major Lionel Booth here. He's currently defending the fort for the Union side. Hello, Smalls. Thanks for having me. How many troops do you have guarding this fort? We, well, we have around 600 men, around half white, half <laughs> protecting this fort. You do realize that you are outnumbered by a thousand men, right? But we will never surrender. We must protect this fort at all costs. You are insane. Back to you and Cool Hawk, Tom Tucker. Uh, I have a feeling this will be a very bloody battle. <laughs> As a committed news service, we will supply live coverage of the entire battle. Let's go to our Confederate field reporter, who is currently live videotaping the action. As you can see behind me, Confederates are all on horses and are slowly surrounding the fort on three sides. Look at the soldiers go! Whoa! I think I see gunfire! Okay, now let's see how the Union forces are doing. It looks like the Confederate scum are using cowardly sharpshooters to snipe at us. Ah! I've been hit by a sniper! Ooh! That must have hurt, dog. You wanna know how I got these scars? I already know, a sniper hit you. Uh, the dude just dropped. What do I do? I don't know. While you figure that out, we'll switch to the Confederates after a short break. This program was brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. The brilliant General Forrest has moved snipers to a nearby hill, and they have succeeded in killing Union Major Booth. His last words were, Why so serious? There is breaking news. Forrest has just issued an ultimatum to the Unions that they either surrender unconditionally or they die. Because the Confederates have just got a new stock of ammunition. Look like, looks like this battle, which was forecasted with a lot of blood, will end soon. Unless the Union soldiers refuse to surrender. We will find out the verdict with Mr. Smalls, down by the Union side. Well, Tom, it looks like sheer panic right now. The soldiers know that they can't win, but Major Bedford refuses to give in. Back to you, Tom. Now let's have a look at the Confederate side. General Forrest has a response and he is excited. Actually, oh, I just received the word. The response is... Oh no, our live feed is breaking. I think another video signal is coming. <laughs> wow, that was weird. Anyone know that guy? Well, anyway, back to the story. As I was saying, 
The response was that the Federals refused to surrender, and now General Forrest has called for an all-out attack to destroy the Nine Eleven North. Speaking of which, Tom, do you know what NAACP stands for? Well, it stands for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Wrong. It actually stands for the National Association of Apes Called People. And I thought my jokes were bad. How's the attack coming? Oh, um, well, it seems that the Confederate soldiers are breaking through that low wall. Now it seems that the Federals are in full retreat. It's lucky that that Union ship is not firing on Confederate troops. Now let's switch to Mr. Smalls on the Union side. Oh my god, I'm gonna die Bobby! Bobby was like, oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. The Union troops went forward to retreat because it was promised that a ship would cover them. However, the ship does not seem to be firing, and the Union soldiers are getting picked off. War is all hell. Oh no! Our life feed has been cut off again! Wait, what is that? Wait, this just in. Wait, oh no! This just in! Our Union Fuller reporter is dead! Ah, oh, oh, oh darn. Anyway, back to the Confederate side. Yeah, I killed our Union Field reporter. He had it coming, that n***a lover. Speaking of which, what's the difference between a park bench and a black man? I don't know. What? A park bench can support a family! Ah. Oh. Do you have anything else to tell us about the battle? Well, Major Bradford was killed. We have prisoners of war, and it seems that 300 of them were dead. About 80 Confederate soldiers were killed or injured also. Yeah. Okay, today was a good day. We'll be back on there tomorrow. Hope to see you guys in the next video.